I'm uh, Master Corporal Sean Sullivan. I'm with uh, Lord Strathcona's Horse Royal Canadian H Historical Vehicle Troop. I'm the uh, overall person in charge of the Historical Vehicle Troop. Uh, in 1990, HVT, uh, Historical Vehicle Troop, was uh, established. Uh, the overall intent was to have uh, vehicles that were used by the regiment for our centennial, which would take place in 2000. The role of the historical vehicle troop is the preservation of the vehicles that the regiment used throughout the history. All the volunteers that come out to the historical vehicle troop are regular force members with the Lord Strathcona's horse. So they come out on their own accord to make sure that the vehicles are in tip-top condition to perform for whatever tasking that is required of the historical vehicle troop. Hello, my name is Ryan Pasuda. I'm a member of the Lord Strathcona's horse, Royal Canadians Historical Vehicle Troop. Today, we are currently fixing a Sherman tank. It's important that we keep our heritage alive. It's also beneficial for the new soldiers coming into the regiment that they know where we came from and how we operated in the past. Also, it's beneficial to the public. They can see what we did in the past and how we've actually progressed along during the century. A lot of the challenges were trying to find the vehicles since a lot of the uh, artifacts were used on ranges, destroyed. So it was real challenge just to get any vehicle that we could work on to have it running for the celebration. Main problem we have when we were repairing these vehicles is sourcing parts. These vehicles were built somewhere around between 1940 and the 50s and have been in service quite a bit longer than that. Currently, we have none of these in service, so we have to find most of our parts on ranges or through various local population. Some of the places where we find parts for these are local bases, local ranges, air weapons ranges where they use these for targets to shoot at. Uh, if we're lucky, we can find a whole one complete with not much damage to it. So we source our parts from there. Otherwise, we'll have to fabricate the parts ourselves or send out to have them fabricated. This tank itself, it's named after a tank that was in the Korean War. Uh, this one was found on an air weapons range up in Cold Lake, was brought back here in 1993. After that, it was completely stripped apart and rebuilt to what you see today. Today here, we're prepping the Sherman tank for an engine pack removal. So what we're doing is we're removing the radiators, the fans, the shrouds, disconnecting all the wiring. Currently it does run, but the engines have been uh, poorly maintained for so long that we have to pull them out and rebuild them. So the similarities between these and cars, trucks, tractors, is that during World War II, the Sherman tank was specifically designed so any farm kid, any farmer, hunter, things like that who used tractors and other small implements could easily get in this and drive it right away. Some of the future plans for a historical vehicle troop is the outfitting of the items within the vehicles. So that when we go to do displays for the general public, they're able to see what the vehicles used to look like back in that period of time. I'm Master Corporal Sean Sullivan, and I'd like to thank you for watching uh, this program. If you want to learn more about the Historical Vehicle Troop or the Lord Strathcona's Horse in general, I please invite you to visit the website at www.strathcona.ca.